So talk to us on our social media handles and tell us what you want to see, what movie, series, animation, um, documentary for that matter that you would like us to review. Moving on right here on The Buzz, you know we bring you amazing artists, you know, people who are doing amazing things in their respective fields of art. And today it's not any different. We have an amazing artist for you today. So stick around to find out who we have today. Oh, my name is Ashley Cariz. I'm an actress, an MC, a host, a creative, and just an entertainer in general. Yes. Working first uh, is the acting because uh, I got into theatre, so from there I grew from the theatre to the screens. So now that laid like a really good platform to grow my, my career. So that's now when it came about the hosting and seeing creative, influencing a bit there on Instagram and all that. So definitely the acting came first, yeah. And I started in theatre way back in 2015, oh that's a <laughs> Wait, 2014 actually? 2014? Yeah, yeah, so 2014, that's like way back. I was a young Ashley, I was all, uh, like 18 years old then at the time. So I did theatre for one year and then in 2015 I moved on to film, screen. So that's when I did my first feature film in 2015. Yeah, so from there onwards, the rest is history. I mean, I've been in a couple of projects, I've done Waliobaki, I've done Tidy High, which most people don't know. I also was featured in Tidy High. Um, Trap House, which I'm popularly known for. And now, um, currently in Single Kiasi Season 2 on Showmax and Disconnect 2 on Netflix. And of course, I'm filming other things at the moment, yeah. My favorite set to be on, I would say, Single Kiasi down, like hands down. It was the best. Everyone there was just amazing. We all have a great time. We laugh, we joke around. It's just like good vibes all the time. Shout out to the whole team, Zingo Kiasi. And I loved my co-star. I mean, Kevin, who's playing my love interest in the show, we have a lot of like risky scenes on there, which is, you know, as an industry are growing towards that direction, even like more like risky scenes. That shows growth, but you know, Africans and the culture, we're not used to that. So even me being new to those kind of scenes, Kevin really, really made me feel comfortable and it was easier to film those kind of scenes, being my first time. And I think we did a pretty good job. I don't know, yeah, I think we, we did pretty well, yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I mean, like Kidogo Tuni crush my moti. Listen, if you could just tell me your name right now, I'll die peacefully and respectfully. Just your name. That's it. Please. Natasha. Tash. Hmm. Tash. Well, they call me Richie. Thank you. But my favorite would be. Lady P in Trap House. Because I, I was still young, which I'm always playing young, because obviously my body, like I'm a small petite girl, but just how the writers would bring out Lady P's emotions and uh, all the drama in the show would really stretch me as an actor. So that would just make me go research more and do differently from the other slay queen roles I've done because there was a lot of emotions. It's not just being pretty, you know, she was going through stuff, she had family issues, she came from a really, really um, poor background. So it really brought out my emotions. And so again, Trap House, that catapulted my career a hundred percent. Like it was my, I consider it as my biggest break ever. I feel like I have a lot to do, I haven't achieved, I'm not there yet. I feel like I have a lot to achieve, but so far I would go with, with, with Trap House because I did it for long. And you know, like I mentioned about Kenyans loving to see familiar faces all the time. So when you do it for a long time, people get familiar with you, they love you, they love the character, they follow the character and then, and then now they come to get to know you as a person maybe on social media, they get to interact with you. So definitely, I'd say Lady P in Trap House, but also Disconnect too on Netflix. Also, that really gave me a huge milestone as well, yeah. definitely. What I'd say is, you know, shows come about every other day, right? So you can't say, oh, I want to be in Gossip Girl, I want to be in this and this, because when you say you want to be there in the show, another great show comes out. So you're like, oh no, I want to be in that. So I'd say maybe for me would be, the ultimate goal for me would be just to get to Hollywood. I know it sounds insane, you know, like, oh, you want to get to Hollywood, but yeah, I mean, that, I feel like that's not the end goal because even when you do get there, you still want to grow and do more. Like there's never, 
a point where you feel like now ni mefika I've reached like this is it you know even when you do get there you'll still want to do more and grow yourself but the goal is to cross borders really to go and do big stuff it doesn't even have to be in Hollywood even in South Africa Nigeria they're doing amazing like projects they're doing crazy films amazing films so even just to cross the border and get recognition in that way that would be awesome but even Hollywood wouldn't be so bad either because Lupita is doing amazing. We have other Kenyan actors on there as well, like in Hollywood on crazy shows. I don't know how people get there, but I feel like this is the stepping stone. This is the foundation. So we just have to keep going and you know, you never know where you're gonna land. Mm. My word of advice to any actor, actresses coming up would be take your time, all right? Take your time, go for auditions. That's the only way you're going to get to be in these shows. There's no that you can be in my DMs all the time. Oh, I actually wanna be in this. I'm like, I'm also employed, man. Like I'm also there. I've been, I've gone for the auditions. I've been employed by my producer too. I remember people would be like, you'll be called when I was in theater. People would be like, oh, you'll be called once you're seen. Nivo, utakotuna putama calls home. You're just chilling out. Hey, come, for, uh, come for this show and said, come shoot. Nothing like that. That was a huge lie, honestly. So you really need to work your self up go for auditions mainly just mainly plainly go for auditions take time with yourself be patient with yourself you can be in a great show but that doesn't mean that is it you understand what i'm saying like you can be oh so i'm on netflix okay but man you still have a long way to go so like it never ends and also don't take rejections personally that's a, I think the same thing I said last time. It's it's never too personal. Like you just take it as a redirection. Maybe you're not meant for that show. Maybe it would have come with a lot of challenges. Maybe it was like maybe not even like a great uh, working environment. Also, just anything you'd think that it wasn't meant for you, take it like that. Try again. Go audition again. And maybe when you land that role, just know it was meant for you. What's meant for you can never pass you. So whatever you do get, know that that has been yours. It was written in the stars. That was meant for yours completely. But if you just get the, reje the rejections, I beg your pardon, move along swiftly. Yeah, there's this thing called stereotype typecasting in Nairobi, Kenya. I don't know why it's like that. You mostly go for some roles that will grow you and challenge you as an artist, as an actor. But for some reason, these people just typecast you. They stereotype you. You know, they, if it's a slay queen, you're forever playing a slay queen. If you're like uh, these people in the in the shamba and all that, you'll forever play an old woman in the shamba. You know, there's no growth because Kenyans, I feel like they love familiarity. You know, like if you're familiar with something, then they'll be used to that. But I feel like it's important to let people live and grow because it's their job after all. They're trying to grow themselves. They're trying to grow their talent. So if you give them a different role, then you'll be helping them. So I think that is also part of the challenge, which I should have mentioned. So yeah, absolutely. But now in my career um, specifically, like I am doing a lot of different roles which is great so it's growing me and I and I love that so at least for me it's not that bad in, in, in that in that sense yeah. <laughs> yeah and also I'd say um, we would do better as an industry if people paid more attention to actors and what they do I mean it's a normal job what I'm trying to say like it's a normal job like it's you're giving your time your energy in terms of like even payment if I could just be honest like we should be considered you know people like it's a hobby it's not so you can feel you can get like people that are probably underpaid or like you're looking at a project like oh come on this would probably must be better but uh, you know there are those kind of challenges because they don't take it seriously so I'd say we, we would do better in terms of you know, even paying artists and actors and all that entertainment industry in general we would like just we, we should do better so that I feel like is uh, is one of the challenges definitely uh, you can find me on Instagram Twitter Instagram Twitter and uh, Facebook Ashley B Carries fan page on Facebook at Ashley Carries Brandy on Twitter and Ashley B Carries on Instagram my work right now currently is on two single case on Showmax Disconnect 2 on Netflix a couple of episodes of Trap House there on YouTube. Actually, not even a couple. The whole show, like from season one to season six, every single episode, you can go catch them there on YouTube and look out for more shows. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>